Well, whether we like it or not, flu season is right around the corner, and right now researchers are working around the clock to develop a brand new high-tech COVID-19 and rapid flu test all in one. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska shows us why a test like this is so important to help rebound from this crisis. COVID-19 and the flu have some similar symptoms. That's why those researchers want people to be able to go to their medicine cabinet, grab a test. It's just as easy to buy off store shelves as a thermometer. Hours of waiting in line to get tested, coupled with days and days of waiting for your results, are now the new normal for this pandemic surging across our state. We are optimistic and we are hoping to have a prototype by the winter. Uh, but, I mean, this is not a promise. Dmitry Kirev is a postdoctorate researcher at the University of Texas at Austin, leading the charge to develop the sensor. It will use antibodies from the flu and COVID-19. Our saliva most likely will be used to conduct the test, and results will be ready in a matter of minutes. You can perhaps use your phone or uh, laptop. That will be enough to provide electrical power to the chip to read out the the sensor, the, the sensor, do you have either of the wires or do you not? Kirev developing a test anyone can use in their home. So if you are sick, no COVID testing line, no trip to the doctor to get a flu test, and most of all, no going out into the public sick looking for a test potentially affecting others. Perhaps uh, something that you can purchase in advance. It can be sealed. You can have it in your home for a while. The sensor will take months to research and develop. Making sure it is 100% reliable, but uh, to make a sensor that can detect uh, COVID-19 and or influenza, we are confident this, uh, this is doable. And the pressure is on. The last flu season from October to April 2020, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimated 24 to 62,000 people died of the flu. Just how important is it for you to, to be a part of this and know that you could help humanity in the future? It is actually a great feeling but at the same time, a great efforts and like requirements for ourselves that to develop a technology that can be used to the society right now. In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News. And here's the rebound rundown for you. Researchers hope to have a prototype by this winter. The test would give results for the flu or COVID in just a couple of minutes. Major companies are already standing by to scale up production once it's approved. Our